to describe my own work, I would say that I mainly make videos. Um, and they're mainly videos that are made using computer-generated kind of technologies. And that they speak very particularly to the structure and the, and the way that images are made. Thanks, X. So when I click it, um, preferences lists loads of choices which are all greyed out and I'm not sure what I've done wrong or what I should have installed in order to access. Any ideas? Seriously, I'm working to a deadline. So videos that, generally speaking, are about quite fundamental uh, aspects of a kind of human experience of love or death sex or whatever or relations just generally I must say. Help me communicate without debasement, darling. There's something missing from that world and from the, the characters that are in that world there's something missing. That kind of and the thing that is missing sort of defines it. And then various times I think that the thing that is missing is life. You know, they are first and foremost dead. Um, they're born dead. You know, they're generated from emptiness in a way. I also think that, the, I mean, the big common denominator is, is my time spent with them. I think that, that it would be very different working with a big crew of people. I'd be too ashamed to go to certain places or make decisions that I, if it's just me that I have to answer to, then I can make stranger decisions and that I know that are faithful to the way I feel or something, rather than justifiable. <laughs> so they are uh, profoundly obscure, even to me, what happens in them, why certain things happen, but I know the feeling that I want. I mean, most of them, are, for me, are defined by a relationship to the emotional sensation that's in there, you know, and mostly that's kind of melancholy. Lonely. Lonely. Tin can at my feet. I think I'll kick it down the street. That's What's interesting to me about melancholy, as opposed to, say, depression or mourning, and this is kind of semantic difference, um, melancholy in the psychoanalytic mode understood as the loss of something that you don't know what you lost. So in a way, for you to ask that question, I can't answer, because I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's lost. And that's kind of the condition of that feeling, is that something is lost, um, and I don't know what that is. And the work doesn't know what that is, and the characters don't know what that is. But that, that doesn't stop the fact that that loss is felt. Um, so it's symptomatic but the thing that it's a symptom of is irretrievable somehow. So all you're left with is to deal with somehow and confront or change, modify that feeling of loss. But you cannot necessarily change the thing that is gone. So, X. So, X. Asleep at the wheel, windscreen, tears streak, speeding. X, so very real and nightmare across the wheel. X, asleep at the wheel and again already. X, seen astride a huge colourless mare, a bolting, snorting silhouette on the horizon of dawn. X, hammering the bars and really hard. Broken. Dead moon and a sky streak with grey. Human kindness is overflowing.
flowing and I think it's going to rain and I don't really know how to make work that doesn't first deal with loss or speak of loss because I, I guess I feel like loss or insufficiency and inability and failure those are the and negation generally are the absolute bedrock of making things which sounds um, perverse because obviously you generate something you create something out of nothing but but actually what it takes away representation I feel like it's sort of defined by uh, an absence A ritual method involving the invention of a wild monster for the sole purpose of its wild symbolic bed. A chimera. X crossed with X. The hind legs of the mother. The face of legitimacy, etc. I don't feel at all at home in the creative world. Uh, it's a very inhospitable place, but it's uh, so it's not fun. Uh, but I do. I mean, I I get a lot of pleasure out of making them. I infinitely prefer being out in the real world, like being outside, speaking with friends. You know, like I'm not. It's not. I'm not really a creature that lives in a cupboard or something. 